Liverpool looking unbeaten so far in the Premier League. But how are you guys doing over in the fantasy football world? We'll take a little look at the situation at the top next. That's right, folks, back once again with another fantasy football update, boys and girls, as we enter, what is it, match day number seven uh, in the Premier League, something like that. Um, so let's get, take a, get, let's get a look at what we're talking about here, boys and girls, before we jump into the good stuff. Which is the t the the table? Uh, I want to let you know once again about the Discord. Make sure you get involved with it, um, so that we can dish out the prizes. I have been in touch with August winner. He's, he is his prize is incoming. So just stand by. I've just been a little bit crazy this week with with our bits and pieces going on um, out here in the real world, not in the digital world. But anyway, uh, I'll put the core the the code at the top, and I'll, I'll take a little mental note and I'll put it in the description. So make sure you click on the link. In the description, you'll join the Discord, and then you can chat with us and amongst uh, all the other people, hopefully, within the group. There's not many of us in there so far. Uh, but anyway, uh, last week, I did okay. 62 points on the board for me, for my boys. I uh, played a bit of a gaff as well. I should have swapped the keepers. I should I, I swapped them um, because Gunn was doing such a... Such a um, uh, Gunn was doing tremendous stuff early doors, and I switched it out for Patricio, but... Patricia actually had the better game and got more points. So, banana skin there. I've yet to uh, I've yet to make my transfer. We might do it live on on the stream here, um, but it's it's not looking good for Mane. I might have to drop him at least. Stand by. So yeah, Mane's not looking too great at the moment. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to judge that uh, on a daily sort of basis. Uh, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get rid of him because he's a goal scoring machine. Uh, we'll just have to try and generate some funds. Maybe, maybe sell the likes of Grealish or Rickardson, one of the one of the less performing uh, midfielders. Mount could probably come in and cover him uh, for the time being. But I need I need to find some points somewhere. Um, all in all, I think my strikers are good. Greenwood is is uh, disposable as well. I think I've only just got the one transfer free. Um, I've actually got two free transfers. Bargain. I've got just under a million left in the tank. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the current state of flux um, in the league. Um, I think I actually dropped down a position. Um, but let's take a look at the Blackburn Overseas cash cow. That's what we're here for, folks. So the current state of flux, as it has, we have a new leader. As Eden come back, and uh, Ben Pugh currently leads the way overall for the grand prize, which is $100, boys and girls. So uh, if you're not involved, get in touch or get involved with it right here, right now. He's got a seven-point lead over SK11. Last month's winner is Abel Mustaya. He's in actually fourth spot at the moment, so he's actually 14 points off the pace here. So Eden, come back, maybe leading the grand prize, but currently the leader of September is Sanctus. Glenn Trebekcha. So right here, right now, if the if the month was to end today, then you would be the victorious uh, person for um, for September. Now it is not far away. In fact, this video will be the last video prior to the end of, of the month of September. So, Glenn, if you're not, if you are watching, get in touch with me in the Discord to, or just get involved with the Discord so that we can dish out the prize money. We'll take a look at the tables in just one second so let's um let's actually take a look at the games that are going to take place this week and we've already done our predictions they're already on the channel so make sure you check that out but these are the banana skins i think or 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 and also these are the games that i think you could get some points in uh this weekend so kick it all off i think liverpool is a away win a, a pretty much a banker sheffield United will cause some problems in front of the cameras they are pretty decent and they've caused problems along the way they beat everton last time out can they make it a merseyside double you never know but for me i think liverpool should take it uh, man city should also continue their dominance away from home as well everton will make it a little bit harder for them but their pride is dented they're just a, one of those teams that can can play sometimes and can be absolutely woeful the next Next. Uh, what else have I got? The Tottenham game against Southampton. Their, their away form may be her horrific, but their home form is keeping them in contention at the top of the table. Um, so Tottenham should beat Southampton. So that means Gunn should be dropped in my eyes. Uh, what else have I got? Another one at least. Chelsea against Brighton. I think this is where Lampard will get a victory at Stamford Bridge as well. Um, so if you've got Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount, any Chelsea attacking players, this is a, this is a time to play them. Maybe even captain them. You never know. Uh, Aston Villa against Burnley. I think uh, I think them six-fingered freakazoids will not get anything against Villa. I think Villa will take it um, convincingly. 2-0, 1-0, something like that. So clean sheet to boot. So Tyrone Mings, for me, is going to stay put. 
Um, and now for the banana skins that I think have got some problems written all over them. Obviously, the game of the weekend is Man United against Arsenal. I just don't know which way that's going to go. So, if you've got Man United defenders, Arsenal defenders, drop them like they're hot, I think. I just, just avoid them whatsoever. Also, Leicester against Newcastle. Obviously, Leicester doing bits last weekend. Uh, they should probably beat Newcastle, but I just don't know how much or if Newcastle are going to give them a game or not. And uh, the other banana skin is Bournemouth against West Ham. West Ham are doing bits as well towards the top of the table. So are Bournemouth. West Ham can play football sometimes. They can be a naff sometimes. Same Bournemouth. So those are the three. Is there any more? I don't think there's any more. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that later. But those are the three major uh, uh, hiccups along the way. So let's ju jump back into the stuff. Sneak peek of what else is going on behind the scenes there. So, yeah, this is the stair flux in the, the current September. So, right now, Glenn Trebecker is looking like he's going to be the manager of the month. But we have a whole match day yet still to play. So, that could all change. Uh, even I could potentially win it. Uh, where am I for the month of... Um, so, I'm all the way down in 58 uh, with 115 points for the month of September. Which is a good... 40 odd points so likelihood is I need something crazy whether I need to play my uh, play my my trump card now or a triple captain or something like that um, now would be the time um, so let's jump back here and take a little look at the dream team for match day number six this team would have given you 146 points this is what you need look at this Rams there between sticks getting 10 points uh, wood up top one two three four five matches of city players in it I don't think you're allowed that are you I think you're only allowed three or four play three players max from one team so this is obviously not uh doable uh, i don't think cresswell lundstrom yamalenko now this guy could be a little dark horse for the next couple of weeks uh, uh scores of probably come back from fitness um so he's looking like a good uh, resource and i tell you what so some billy bargains out there west ham southampton defenders that's where you can make some money or save some money uh, in the end so let's take a look actually let's go back um, to the main page here and take a look at um, take a look at actually the actual top team that was uh, actually existed and it was this bad boy's points uh, FC Glada Klingen he got 141 points he did triple captain De Bruyne with 50 points uh, on, his, on his name there what a what a turnaround that is 8-0 stuffing so yeah Tammy Abram just got him the two points Van Dijk just got the two points the rest of the points distributed um, amongst the defenders now uh, speaking of I did say about value uh, Diop is probably one of the, the best value players out there right now he's currently uh, priced at around 4.5 million he's the defender uh, he's currently knocking on how many points has he got so far 24 points on the board if we take a look we're going to take a look at the other defenders in a second but 24 points for 4.5 million pound that's not too shabby um, in fact, well, let's jump over there now. Take a look at the statistics. Um, so 4.5 million best defenders so far. 25. So he's... Where was he? There he is. 24 points. Billy Bargain. Come in the same sort of uh, bracket as like so 6 million pound defenders. 6.9 million pound defenders. So, you know, there's a lot of value. He's even got more than Van Dijk as well. So he's considered as one of the top three players in the world or something ridiculous. Another player that I think is good value is St Stevens from uh, Sheffield United. Obviously, they play a weird kind of system with their centre-backs bombing up and down the field. That they can cause all kinds of problems and even uh, create goals, maybe even score a couple as well. So uh, Sheffield United, Southampton and Watford, uh, uh, West Ham have got defenders that can score problems. Another Billy Bargain out there is from them six-fingered freakers. It is Eric Peters, formerly of Stoke. Um, he's also got, um, how many points is on the board? 27 points so far. 4.7 million pounds uh, is a billy bargain to be had. And another defender that I think is up for grabs is Fabian Shah from uh, Newcastle. A little bit more pricey at 5 million pounds, but he's got 26 points on the board. He's an ever-present for Newcastle thus far. Moving into midfield, um, but also uh, the, the obvious one is Lundstrom. But how long will that remain? Will he be up there? For, if, if he remains up there and Vestergaard. So Lundstrom... For Sheffield United and Southampton uh, for Vestergaard. Vestergaard for Southampton. These, these two uh, Billy Bargains. In fact, in fact, three of the top five are under £5.5 5 million. Pounds. There's, a lot, there's a lot of money to be saved if you pick in some cheap defenders right now. Into midfield, um, there's not much much money to be made in midfield. The only, the only standouts for me so far obviously, is Cantwell. Uh, who's done absolutely tremendous £5 million uh, pickup still. Um, 
even knocking on the door for an international call-up as well. Uh, Yamalenko is under 6 million, and he's starting to turn heads as well. Um, it's, it's been gradually introduced since game week one. 13 minutes, 54 minutes, 78 minutes, 88 minutes against my... So, so he's been starting these last, what, four games? Uh, kept a clean sheet. Gets a point for that. Scoring goals as well. So he could be a he could be a form player to, to keep an eye out. Uh, the other one, Harry Harry Wilson, I think he's he's, he's tremendous as well. Uh, scoring one, two, three goals already this season, uh, six point one million pounds. So he's got potentially some value there. And also uh, Hughes at Watford. I know they're in a nightmare season, but this guy is has been it's been knocking on the door for England reckoning for years and years, and they kept on him. Unfortunately, it's not worked out for him at the moment. Um, Scored one goal so far. He's not really a goal-scoring man. He's more of a, a hard-working midfielder. So, but he's doing bits as well with uh, 22 points and just under five, or just 5.5 million. And as for strikers, there's not met much value up up top. I'd say uh, Wesley from Aston Villa, especially this week where they take on uh, they take on Burnley. There's potential for for another goal here. He's already got two so far. One against Arsenal. One against Everton. Um, and he's been he's been regular starter for. Uh, for uh, fast and fast. So I think, uh, you know, I, I'm fancying him to score a goal, maybe even two this weekend. So have you got any money or potentially to pick up a transfer? Obviously, this guy's been uh, one of the standouts so far. Two, three, three goals as well. He's just got one more, actually, than uh, than Wesley. Um, he did miss one game against Brighton. Um, so, yeah, there's potential there. But West Ham are, so far, causing all kinds of problems. Uh, what else have I got for you? Let's just take a look at, uh, at the, the, the grand scheme of things. Top players overall. It is Aguero, De Bruyne and Puki leading the way. Salah and Abanyamang are in the top five. Um, transfers in, transfers out. That's always interesting to see. Uh, so the past week, um, Tammy Abraham's the top transfer coming in with uh, 380,000 of years bringing him in. De Bruyne has also been brought in 250 times, 250,000 times. Mason Mount as well. I was one of them. Um, Otamendi and Lundstrom make up the top five. As for the drop it while it's hot, um, let's take a look at them. That's not what we wanted. It's right there. Sterling has been dropped the 260,000 times this week. Rashford as well, 220,000. Uh, Digny, Shinchenko and Wampasaka have all been dropped. Uh, Van Dijk as well is on the hit list or the shit list, should I say. But yeah, so, so far so good. Um... You know, uh, the, the competition is alive over in the back room overseas cash cow. Uh, make sure you get your changes in thick and fast before the, the time runs out. Uh, before we go, I uh, just want to bring you a bit of admin. And that is, I'll be doing some live predictions on Sunday, uh, which will, in fact, will be, will be live today, later today, which is Thursday, with the Champions League predictions. Come by and say hello for that bad boy. That's right here on the channel. But on Sunday, we'll have our championship predictions once again in a double match week. So we'll have predictions on Sunday and probably again on late Wednesday. We'll, we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, and then also Tuesday, we'll be back with the Premier League match day number eight predictions, I believe. For the Prem de la Prem. And if you're bored on Saturday, come on over to Twitch and say hello. Uh, doing uh, a live Blackburn Overseas watch-along for as Blackburn take on Luton at Ewood Park. Potential for some goals in this one. Hopefully some good reaction as well. Instantly, you can catch me over on Twitch. Link to my Twitch platform is in the description down below. Um, and that is pretty much it. But before, one more thing. I'm going to harp on about it. Again, it is the Discord. Make sure you join the Discord because uh, that's the only way I can get to you if, you if you're lucky enough to win one of the prizes. Uh, I am dealing with the first winner. He's finally got in touch with me over on Twitter. Uh, we are, I'm now trying to sort out the arrangements to get him his cash uh, very, very soon. So uh, we're, 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 in, we're, in, we're in cahoots. So you can, And actually, remember, the next at the end of this match day, we'll have our second winner. Uh, and I look forward to uh, congratulating him in the next video, which will be next Friday. Anyway, folks, make sure you smash the thumbs up and smash the subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, keep you banging up to date. Well, thanks! Blackman Rovers related, uh, fo fantasy football related, Premier League related, world football related. We've got all here under one roof, skis. I'm going to get out of here. I've uh, got a lot more to do, boys. The football just keeps on coming. Until I see you all again, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you banging up to date. With all things Blackman Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.